In this video, we're going to talk about three dimensional coordinate systems. We're going to see how we can put the points in a space, how we can define equations in a space, and um, how can we define shapes in a space. So let me start. I'm going to start with a recall in two dimensional spaces. We have every point, we show every point by two coordinates, okay, by, by an ordered pair x and y, okay. It's like a plane. So we have x axis, y axis, and every point p here, we show two numbers to show the position of a point. The first number would be the distance from the point to the y-axis and the second number which we call it the second coordinate would be the distance from the point to the x-axis okay we're gonna have the similar situation but in uh, 3d okay for three-dimensional space we're gonna use three coordinates for every point. So we're going to use ordered triples, x, y, and z, to show every point. In that case, we have a space. How we can show the space? By, by three axes. Okay, This is x-axis. Let me move the x-axis a little down. I'm going to make it a little smaller. Then I have y-axis. Always label your axis. It would be very helpful for you later on. And then z-axis. Every point in here, like the point P, it has three um, numbers, three coordinates, A, B, or C. Okay. And then this is the origin, the corner would be the origin and um, I have positive x-axis on the back on the back of the wall I have negative x-axis I have positive y-axis and on the left I have negative y-axis upward I have z-axis and on down I have the negative z-axis then I have this plane in here I'm gonna call it x z plane then on the on the ground actually i have x y plane and on the back i have what i have y z plane okay then we can use these um we're gonna call them um coordinate planes okay coordinate planes okay then every point we can um okay, let me grab another one okay this is x-axis x-axis as i said is always toward you then y-axis and then z-axis <clears throat> let me erase some of the um part of the axis that we don't use okay and then every point like this point i'm gonna show it by a b c and what are they i'm gonna have a box in here. I'm gonna explain it. Let me grab this box first. Okay, so if I have every point in a space, this is x-axis this is y-axis and then this is z-axis every point in a space the distance from the point to the ground 
would be the height of the point, which is the third coordinate. Okay, so the distance from the point to the x y plane would be the height of the point c, and since this and that are equal to each other, I'm gonna say that this is c. Okay, and then if I have a point, the distance of the point to the x z plane would be the second coordinate b. Okay, so this distance in here would be the second coordinate b, which this part and that part in here would be the same. So I'm gonna say that this part in here would be b, okay? And then the distance from the point to the back, to the back wall, which is yz plane, would be the first coordinate. This is a actually. So this part is a. So I have a, b, and then c, and using these three numbers, I can find the position of the point in a space. Okay. Um, about the um, labeling of the axis, we have a rule as well. We call it um, a right hand rule. Okay, let me give you a note first about the labeling of the axis. We can say that rotating the axis is okay. Rotating the axis is okay. But we all agree agree to follow the convention. the convention and what is the convention the convention is that z is upward upward okay the upward um, axis is z and then x y plane is horizontal is horizontal okay but it's important Okay, as the second part of the note, it's very important to follow the right hand rule. Okay. However, we need to follow to follow the right hand rule. Right hand rule to labeling the axis. What is the right hand rule? The right hand rule is that we extend, let me write it first and then I'm gonna explain it. We extend right hand, right hand along positive x axis, then we curl our fingers, our fingers toward toward positive y axis, and then our thumb points positive z axis. Okay, so let me explain it to you you see just assume that this is positive x-axis that's going toward you this is y-axis and then this is positive z-axis i'm gonna use my right hand and i'm gonna put my fingers along the positive x-axis that is going toward you then i curl my finger to the positive y-axis then my thumb shows um, positive z axis that's how we should label the axis but i always graph it like this x axis toward me y axis to the right and then z axis up okay let me start the examples 
on the first example, just assume that this is x-axis, y-axis, let me just move it a little bit, and then z-axis, okay? I have a point P, 3, 2, 1. Where is that? The point 3, it means that I need to come 3 units on the x-axis, 1, 2, and then 3, then 2 units along the y-axis and along the positive y-axis, so 1 unit and one unit and then two units so up to now i'm here but i have a height one okay so the point p would be here see okay so this point is here with the height one so three units and then one and then two units up to here and then one units up okay this is this point. How about another point? 1, 1, and then negative 5. Where is this point? 1. 1 point along positive x-axis, 1 point along positive y-axis, and then 5 point down. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. This point I'm gonna show it by Q would be 1 1 and then negative 5 okay that's how we graph um, we show the points let me have one more example for example the point 2 0 and then 2 where is that I have two units along the positive x-axis 1 and then 2 I have zero units along the y-axis, so I don't move on the x-y plane I'm here. And then two units up. One unit and then two units. So this point is 2, 0, 2. It's on x-z plane. Okay. Very good. Let me show um, this program. So this is the origin. This is positive x-axis. This is positive y-axis. I wish we had the label on here, but we don't. This is the positive z-axis. Okay. If I want to show it to you, the z equals to zero, this is this plane z equals to zero. So I have pos the points with positive um, third coordinate on top with the negative third coordinate on the bottom. Okay, this is z equals to zero. This is x, y plane. How about x equals to zero? x equals to zero would be here. Okay, so on x equals to zero, y can be anything so this is y and z plane okay and this is y equals to zero y equals to zero this is x axis this is z axis okay and as you see if we show all the coordinates plane how many octants do we have in here this is the first octant when x y and z are positive the, all the points with x y and z coordinates positive this is the second octant third and fourth octant so we have four of them on top we have four of them on the bottom as you see so together in a space we have eight octants 